time for sound design. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the Alessis Microverb 3 digital effect unit from the 90s. It is a reverb and delay unit in a 1U rack. So you have the mounting ears here. And um, it is 16 bit stereo and it has 16 modes, each with 16 programs. So it has in total 256 different reverb and delay effects. Controls are pretty simple. You have input, mix and output. So mix is dry wet control. Then there's a low EQ and high EQ, boost and cut. And then you have the two rotary knobs for selecting the programs. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna put the sequential ProfitRef2 synthesizer through this unit into Ableton. And I'm gonna go through a few different programs and show you a few different sounds that you can make with this unit. And you might wonder why bother with such an old effects unit from the 90s, the early 90s, when you have pedals, modern pedals, you have Ableton with all the effects. And that's just out of curiosity. And these early digital effects have this kind of uh, digital crunch to them. So especially in the tail of the sound, you can hear the little kind of artifacts, digital artifacts. And that's a character you can get with one of those boxes. So that's the reason. Uh, I'm going to hook this up and then we go to Ableton to hear some sounds. I created this sound on the Prophet Rev2. So it's a very short sound. Let's uh, turn up the mix volume of the Alesis. The first preset that I selected is the regen met delay. So regenerating medium delays. The mix is at uh, something like 55% or program number 14. And this is how it sounds. And when I record this, You can hear in the tail that digital crunch I was talking about. So if you zoom into the waveform, especially in this part, you can hear it. So if I boost this, that's that digital crunch I was talking about. So for a different sound, this is the large room reverb. And then on program number four, that sounds like this. Same sound from the Ref2. So when I record this to Ableton and you zoom in on the tail, and I boost this. You hear that digital crunch again. The next sound is the effects preset. So it's a delay with something else. And then program number 14. And we get a really nice stereo uh, picture with this sound. So just a dry sound is this. And then the mix at somewhere 55, 60%. And when I change the sound on the Ref2 a little bit, I play with the envelope, I can create some different textures from it.
Yeah, so as you can hear, you can create a lot of nice kind of small textural sounds with this kind of effects unit. And I haven't used the EQ yet, so if I use the EQ and like boost the high, cut the low. This one is the reverse preset. So it's a reverse delay and then I put it on program number nine and I will record this to also show you what you hear. So the reverse comes very quickly after the sound. And this is the actual sound. And I immediately Let's try a different uh, preset on this reverse. So in the program selector, the 16 steps, the, it starts from short and the, the higher you go up the number, the longer the tails are or the delay time. Back to the effects uh, presets and then program number nine is this one. So it has a, almost like a machine gun style delay very short and many repeats. So you can't change any of the parameters of the delay, like the delay time or the stereo spread. It's just you have all these programs to basically browse through the settings. So in that sense, it's very simple device and you can't do, you don't have a lot of control. You're sort of depending on the presets. So now I'm changing the filter cutoff of the Ref2 and I'm just playing notes and you, because it repeats that much, you don't have to play in a lot of notes to create sort of a continuous sound. Uh, this is, I think, a very beautiful sound. It's a very simple four-note pattern uh, played on a synthesizer. Through this effect unit, you give it a lot of character. If I would play the same thing without the effects, it sounds like this. But then with the effects, it sounds like this. So yeah, that was it for this video. I used the Elysis Microverb 3 Rec Effects Unit. It's a 1U Rec Unit, Delay and Reverb. It doesn't have a lot of controls, but it has a lot of programs. So you can easily find something that kind of uh, works. Let me know what is your favorite vintage effect, either hardware or an emulation in software, and how you use it in a modern production. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and see you in the next one.